Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday. Guess what? We got snow! Woo! I think we got um, maybe three inches, two to three inches. And everything's covered. It's so beautiful. Oh, the trees are just glorious. Wally's excited. He loves the snow. Cree, not so much. Dante was like, why Cree don't like the snow? And I said, well, she's like four inches off the ground. It's probably like right under her belly and her, you know, lady part. So maybe she don't like it right there. But anyway, as for me, I'm pretty excited. Got on my snow boots, snow gear. Yeah, I'm just pretty excited. I just love, love, love this. It just makes everything so clean looking. Because everything's dead looking, you know? And plus of all the disappointing news and uncertainty, snow day was nice. Thank you, Heavenly Florida. <laughs> but hey, if you got more snow than us, be careful out there because people are still driving like idiots. I did pass two wrecks on the way here. Um, many people passed by me because I ain't in a rush to die. <sighs> I get there when I get there. But I'll give some updates later. And um, I'm sure we have hot chocolate today. But you gotta have hot chocolate for a snow day. Enjoy, everybody. Bye. Time to make something yummy with some chickpeas. So one half I'm going to boil and cook down and make it like an egg salad. The other portion I'm going to roast. So the portion that I'm boiling, I'm gonna just make it like an egg salad. Mustard, mayonnaise, sweet relish. Um, I did this last week, I kind of perfected it. Add a little onion and celery seeds. Pretty good option for you lunch over some uh, toast. And you know, I mean, as many chickpeas as us vegetarians eat, you gotta get creative. Happy Friday, everybody. Guess what? Date night. Yep, got on my good black. Mm -hmm. Yep, my daughter's with my aunt, so we're going out. Of course, mask to match. Oh yeah, this is my monogram mask, so yeah. Hey, I washed it, let's see. Of course you wash it every time you wear it. But I have washed this mask, I wanna say maybe four times. No peeling, very adorable, well made, so. And this Creations 86, get you one. Yep, so we're gonna ride out and get something to eat. Um, you know, it's nice to get dressed up and go for a ride, but the reality is we're not going inside a restaurant. We're going to get the finest meal we can get and bring it back to our home. <laughs> I know, right? Day night runner style. Talk to you soon. It is time for some self-care this week, ladies. So here's my before, my lovely gel manicure, but I ventured into the world of dip powder so i ordered a beetles dip powder starter kit and i want to say it was reasonably priced um i just wanted more durable nails i like the gel i have that little, you know you have that manicure look the shorter nails but i really like a little more edge and length so i wanted to do the um, dip powder and of course let's be realistic we're all doing our nails at home but boy do i miss my nail tech she was so amazing so right now I'm just soaking off this gel polish, which you're uh, pretty familiar with if you have gel like I do. So you have to put on the acetone on a cotton ball and wrap your little nails around um, a foil. And then hopefully 
10 to 12 minutes, you can just scrape it right on off. Of course, I had to remove the gel polish in order to use the dip powder. So it was a little process. So I was just sitting here chilling, watching um, something on Netflix. And um, yeah, time went by, I set my timer. So just prepping my nails, push back my cuticles. Of course, Wally, you know, the scents in the house probably drive them crazy, but just started working on just following directions, you know, something new, so I had to really focus. So it's just really simple. Shape your nails, put on the first activating polish, dip your nails, dust off the excess powder, and just keep repeating until you start getting the thickness. And um, it comes, you know, it sets up pretty good. Everything is neatly packaged and the bottles are numbered so it's easy to follow. So yeah, I was pretty impressed. Um, I'll definitely get this again and the price is really reasonable. I want to say it was about $32 depending on what state you're in, but you know, it's Amazon Prime so it's free shipping. Um, but I just took my time, really, really focus on polishing your nails and take my word at it when I say less is more. More does not make it better. And another very important tip, do not get this product on your cuticle. You can get it close to your cuticle, but do not get it on your cuticle um, because everything will collect there. And it's, I have on my pinky, it's a little spot, it's a little irritating. So, you know, I think that was where I put a little too much um, activator and then a little bit of dust was still on that little pinky. But um, I started to love the thickness and I could see my nails really come together. Just a really light buff and um, if you see here, these are three colors I picked. Kind of jazz it up a little bit. But here's my finished product. Put a little oil on my cuticles, and so um, I'm pleased with it. Here's my finished product. What do you think? I'm loving it. I'm hooked. Second day of snow this week. We're pretty stoked. Oh. You want to see? Oh. Ain't nothing like a good old beef stew in a crock pot on a cold, snowy day. So I got a couple of seasons lined up. This guy helped me chop up some potatoes and carrots and onions. And we got all our seasonings going. Got a little water. Low and slow, that's how we do it. I made my Aunt Berta's cornbread. Corn and the cornbread mix. Delicious.